Hey you guys, what is up? You're watching Roads Untraveled. And today we're doing some drifting. I'm Colt McDonald, and uh, this is my 1994 Volvo 940 drift car. I've had the car for about, uh, no, probably four months now. I bought it off a buddy who uh, actually sold the manual transmission swap to. So um, he ended up doing all that stuff. He put a bigger turbo from a newer Volvo in it. And uh, so he wanted to sell it. I ended up taking it off his hands. I mean, the goal of this car uh, was to build just a, you know, car that's under $3,500 that is going to get you drifting basically and uh, you know looks cool just kind of a unique all-around daily driver that's able to drift. You go home and you sit on Forza Motorsports 3, well, I guess now it'd be Forza 6, but you get a wheel and you play that for long enough, it'll just come to you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe that helps though. If you go to the track, you're gonna have a lot more time to practice that over and over again. And like, I mean, the skills that you're gonna gain from going to a track day, it's gonna be like, you're gonna be one sort of driver, maybe maybe beginner at the beginning of the day, and then a full track day of practicing, your skill level is gonna increase so much. Whereas, I mean, if you're drifting on the street and that kind of thing, you, you only have so much time, and then you gotta get out of a spot, so you don't really get to practice too much. But I would say, you know, people usually get the hang of it. Give them 10 track days, and they've got it pretty dialed, for the most part. Some people are naturals at it, but, uh, you know, for the most part, uh, in Penticton and tracks like that, it's mostly second gear, so you're not going too fast. It's definitely a skill, but it doesn't take too, too long to get decent at. That sound coming out the side pipe yeah, it is. is something different. It is, yeah. Some of my friends said it sounds like a Cummins almost a little bit at the low RPMs. It's mainly the turbo spool sound. Man, I can't believe you daily drive this thing. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's so sick. It's good fun. I, I have to have something loud, obnoxious, and fun to daily. Sure, Just like, yeah. It improves your life quality. It really <laughs> does, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, you're right. It's it's really torquey yeah, down low. Yeah, and then, then the top ends like past five and no more. Yeah, it just yeah. kind of flattens out. Yeah. I'm going to put an IPD cam in this one. Yeah. It'll probably gain 20 horse and then make the power band a lot better. Yeah. Feels good though. This yeah. is like, out of all the cars I've driven, probably like just the most raw feeling. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah. The, it's si sick. the side pipe, that's what it's about. Yeah, I know. I that's had open awesome. down pipe before that. That was even worse. I was just feeling her out. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, see, and here you go, all the way to get as close yeah. to that wall, and then hook it, boom, get close to that wall. Now the reason I went with a uh, Volvo and not a uh, conventional chassis like you know an S chassis or Toyota Soar or any, any of the Japanese market, I wanted to do something a little different 
And uh, I was basically, I didn't really know too much about Volvo uh, at the start there. And then I was looking on Craigslist one day, kind of looking for something else. Well, it was a little bit different. And I thought to myself, what does Volvo have for a rear wheel drive car, you know, that could potentially be used as a drift car? So I look on Craigslist and I saw a Volvo 740 Turbo. So they come from the factory with a solid axle, turbocharged, rear wheel drive. I mean, if you have three, those three things, you can kind of, you can make something out of that. After owning about 11 of them, I've accumulated a large amount of parts from them. So my garage is stacked with all Volvo parts and any maintenance repairs I can do myself because uh, they're super easy to work on. I have all the parts, doesn't cost me anything. So I mean, it's kind of, it just kind of works for me. Yeah, I went with a Recaro seat out of an Evo 4, just in the driver's seat. Put a Momo steering wheel, uh, gauges like a wide band to check their air fuels and a boost gauge. So more boost, uh, free, free flowing exhaust. I strip as much of the interior out as I can. I keep the front door panels though, cause it is my daily. Yeah, so you weld the diff, of course. Now I cut the springs, but I would like to go coilovers in the near future. It's just, uh, you know, getting coilovers set up for this car, you gotta go mainly custom. So cut springs with good shocks. It's bouncy, but it works for now. Yeah, that's about it. Wheel spacers and, you know, some cool wheels on it, roll the fenders and yeah, it looks pretty good. You know, I always liked it. It's kind of like, like people say, the figure skating of motorsports. With drag racing, right, you're gonna want, you're gonna have to spend so much money on building your engine to go really fast to have any fun. So, I mean, drifting, it's kind of a budget sport. Maybe that's the reason I like it, just because it doesn't cost me too much. It's a pretty cheap hobby. I would say some parents spend more on their kids' hockey seasons instead of me drifting this car, right? So. I hate to compare this to something that's completely not related to, but it gives me a way better sensation of acceleration than I drove a brand new 2015 WRX. No, exactly. This almost feels quicker than that it's, car. It's because it's like lighter and the, the loud exhaust and shit like that, just more bare bones feeling. So would you say 200 at the wheels right now, you're happy with the uh, drifting? Like, de Yeah, it depends on the track. Yeah. But, uh, the tracks around in BC and stuff, like 200 is all you need because it's mainly all second gear corners. Yeah. That's fun, man. Yeah. Hey, thanks for letting me drive it. Yeah, man. dude, no worries. Thanks for coming out. 100%. Seriously, that's fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know what you think of this car in the comments below and whether you want to see Colton's other drift car. Remember, you guys, we're putting out videos every Tuesday and Thursday now. So subscribe, go like us on Facebook and Instagram. See you next time. <laughs>